just gonna show you real quick the uh, signs that it's really cold outside. Because we're in the 20s, we've been in the 20s since about 5 p.m. or something. So the uh, Arundo Donax is all like shriveled. So is the flax. Just, you can see, it's just really like, it's curled over and dark. This is usually a much brighter color. Um, the palms, you can tell, look how thin each segment of the fronds are. You see how it's just like paper thin. And when it's real cold, I'm gonna pull this one down. You see how closed up they are? And you can kind of see a bit of discoloration. So they're 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 completely folded up. Instead of being out flat, these are older ones, they're out flat, they're they're folded up tight. They do that in response to the cold. You can see it on this one right there too. You can see how skinny each segment is. And look down here. You can see the discoloration on these fronds. That's how cold it is. All the plants, the, the fuchsias, finally the, the leaves are going to drop off. The holly ferns, same thing. Very uh, dark. And the other thing you'll notice is on the on the trackies is they get like a real dull color. Um, almost even dark green. Look at the chiflera. Just all folded over. Fatsias are doing the same sort of thing. Pretty much everything up here is is just kind of like they get that kind of I don't know how to quite to describe it, but the leaves kind of just fold in on themselves, I guess, to try and conserve maybe moisture even. See the metapanics is doing the same. Even the uh, uh, Jap uh, is it called Japanese laurel. I jeez, I can't think of the name right now. But everything is really showing signs of being cold. Except, believe it or not, the Brahea Armada is actually looking like nothing, which is bizarre. The uh, Camadori Microspadex, I'm assuming this is going to be looking horrible. Um, there's even a little sable palmetto down there. But look at this uh, flax here very folded in on itself the the rotos this is the first time i've seen them do this you can see they're cold so they're all kind of droopy same thing oh you can hear the just look at that there's the big leaf roto roto sino grandi and the bananas of course they are toast <laughs> some things look normal not very many I think that trackie actually looks a little bit better, but it's closer to the house. But the plants that are very um, cold tolerant, like the Euonymus, look the same. And uh, yeah, even the Nandina doesn't look bad. Washingtonia filifera undercover with a little bit of protection. So it looks normal. The wag, look at this. Look how folded over that is. So there you go. That is a perfect example of a palm reacting to the cold. Once it warms up this afternoon, that those, those fingers will open up. Just trying to see if there's anything else around. Oh yeah. Oh, it's cold. I'm getting cold. So we're under protection here. Look, look how dark green these Camadori erraticalis are looking. But the cast iron plants look like they're shrugging it off. And here's some more radicalis. Very, very dark green. Very um I, I think they're looking shiny on the on the phone, but they're they're not. Sad state of bananas and the uh, other shuffler is is kind of Fold it over on itself. I think you can hear me crunching. Fatsy is all droopy. I mean, 
most plants are showing some sort of response to the cold, or at least the broadleaf evergreens are. Um, there's my big sabral resoriensis, which doesn't really, oh, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm gonna shoot that in another video. But anyway, it doesn't look like there's been any change. It looks fine. So, see how that guy does. Sable, Louisiana. Looks the same. Nandina Domestica, the same. Um, peanut butter bush, Melianthus major is pretty sad looking, but a lot of times it actually does bounce back. I tend to cut these back in spring though, just because I like them looking more thick. But uh, underneath the cover, where there actually is, you know, some good uh, evergreen cover, things are looking a little bit better down here, actually. There's a Mediterranean fan palm, a blue one. But yeah, it, you can definitely tell that underneath there, with all of this cover from these trachycarpus, and the soil even has give to it, it's soft. Whereas this is, under my feet is crunchy. The rabbit's been in here at work. So there you go. Here's uh, Sable Miner down here, looking pretty good. And these, yeah, you can really see the difference here. These microspadex are looking a bit better, so. Anyway, we'll see how uh, my coral, my unprotected cordylines do. I'm a little concerned. I noticed the rabbits like to eat them, but these ones at the moment look okay, so hopefully they don't die. But long video, <laughs> really long video. I need to get inside. Um, tomorrow, or Monday, I'm gonna, pull off the pots on these small guys here and let them breathe once this uh, nice warm weather comes back. There you go from a frosty, <laughs> not frosty, frigid cold morning. It's about minus four Celsius right now, minus five Celsius. 25 degrees Fahrenheit is what it's saying. But you know who doesn't mind the cold? These guys. He could live out here if he wanted to. Oh, and uh, Happy New Year.